Hello and welcome back to, uh, or welcome if you haven't been here before. Uh, my name is Michelle and I am a 27 year old knitter from Denmark. And uh, today we are placed in my greenhouse and I'm really hoping the weather is holding up um, and uh, that the sun isn't too bright for you to see everything. Uh, it's been really, really changing a lot these past few days, especially today. We had a lot of uh, rain and um, yeah, today it's been one big mess of rain and sun. So I'm hoping that it'll, uh, it'll work out. But yeah, welcome! As I said, this is my... Uh, my name is Michelle and this is my little mm, corner um, on the internet as well as so many other great, great podcasts that are out there. Um, I am a knitter who's been knitting for quite a while. Um, I, I started knit, learning to knit actually when I went in school uh, when I was young. Um, a bit there and a bit from my mom, a bit from some um, after school teachers, uh, different places. Uh, we had a lot of uh, creativity uh, around. Uh, so I learned both knitting and crocheting, uh, yeah, in school during my school time. Um, so I and then I picked it up, uh, tried to pick it up in seventeen, uh, in twenty seventeen, um, did so a little bit. I had a, uh, I had a, I had a sweater on for. Not on me, but on my on the needles for quite a while until I uh, I think in 19, 2019, uh, really started to get into it as um, as I got my first back injury, um, uh, which then corresponds to a bit what I am living with now. I am living with uh, chronic pain uh, in my uh, left leg, um, and knitting is helping me a lot with that and the knitting community is so great uh, both um, well, here on YouTube where I'm quite new I have I have a online knitting uh, group on TikTok and I just share what I do both there on TikTok and on Instagram and you know it's it's really great um, but uh, yeah that was a lot <laughs> welcome Today I have a few different things. I have some. Uh, I have what three finished projects. I have two ongoing right now, and I have one that I am pretty ready to cast on, and I'm thinking I'm going to cast on in the next few days, perhaps. Uh, if not, when this is done, I'm going to show a bit about that. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a good mix of self drafts and uh, and patterns. Um, if you don't know, I uh, love to self-draft things, and I must say, a dream of mine is to um, is to do patterns one day. I um, I'm not able to do it right now uh, due to this. For real, I um, I'm just uh, saving my knits, and so I can look at it later and see what I've done. But I really want to do it. But due to um, yeah, I have to be all done with all of this, figuring out if I can work or not and everything before I can start. That's, I think, just for myself, it's very important to not stress out about that. Um, so yeah. But um, before we go, get into what I uh, finished, I think we should take a look at what I'm wearing because last time I think I had this as a finished object, but it wasn't blocked. I had washed it, it was just ready, and I was doubting if it was too short. And um, let me just go on my knees here for a second. As you can see, it goes just in my waistline here. Um, it can go in my pants without no problems, but you know, when I raise my hand and stuff like that, it um, it goes up. But I think it's it's a really nice place. Um, it goes a bit in in the waist with the um, sorry with the ribbon 
in the bottom. I love the sleeves. They're so cute with this, with the little flare on them. Um, so yeah, I, sorry, there's two butterflies chasing each other outside. I have a ton of butterflies in my garden um, and everything. But yeah, it's knit, knitted in the llama, llama wool from Gallap. Danish a hand dyer and the color here is called Oh Holy Night. Um, I do think it might be a bit shorter than what it was supposed to be um, due to the amount of <laughs> yarn I had left over. But it might just be me who haven't really caught on to the um, how to calculate yarn uh, when you change out the yarns. Um, Sometimes I'm spot on and sometimes I'm completely off and for some reason I don't know why. That's just what happens. So yeah, I'm really trying to look at like how f if, if one knit, if, if a suggested knit is 50 grams of uh, yarn that runs 200 meters. Okay, then I know what I'm going for, but it could just as well be the fact that my knitting gauge is completely off. But I like it. It's lovely. It's delightful the way it is, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like it is. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing, and it's really nice and finished. I love it. Um, so yeah, um, my first finished object, the first thing I finished since the last time, are these cute little socks. Let me put one of them on a blocker. Um, this is the first pair of socks that I finished. I am somewhat trying to finish a pair of socks a month and um, this is the Summer Girl Socks by Sari Nordland. Um, they are a gift for my cousin. I think they turned out super super cute. Um, I love the way the, uh, the yarn changes colors and everything and I love, you know, they match so well. Um, you might have heard me talk about it last time, but the colour's just not me. So um, I won it from Sweet Sweet Marie from uh, from Lemon Full of Wool, and I thought it was such a gorgeous yarn. But when I tried to, to picture it on myself, I just I couldn't see it. Um, but my cousin liked it, and I was like, I'm gonna knit you a pair of socks from it. Um, it's gonna be great. Uh, um, the pattern for the socks is super nice and, and I find fairly easy. They're knitted from top down with a uh, heel gusset flap, heel flap and gusset, that's what they call it. Got the slip stitch heel, um, double knitted, not, no not double knit, but slip stitch heel. Um, I think that heel is just so cute in general. Um, so yeah, they still need a, a wash and block, um, but they're cute. They're a bit. My cousin has a teeny tiny bit longer feet than me, um, but they don't seem too bad. And the good thing about socks is sometimes with the negative ease, they sit a bit better. Uh, and I hope that's gonna be better with uh, with washing as well. So yeah, these. Um, I like the pattern. Sorry, I didn't finish about that. I like the pattern. You're knitting from the top down first. You there's a folded cuff. Um, and when you knitted the entire sock itself, then you put on the little ruffle, then you knit the ruffle on. And that was so nice, and I think the way the ruffle looks, that it's it's just so cute. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would uh, recommend this pattern. I have it, uh, I'm gonna, I don't have too many details, but I have it on Ravelry as well. I'm trying to put in every uh, project that I'm doing on Ravelry, so I'm gonna link it in the description as well. Uh, as well, uh, and, and there you can easily see the pattern from that link. So yeah, um, I used 83 grams of um, yarn. Sorry, love. I used 83 grams of yarn for this um, with the ends cut off, um, and um, yeah, it's. It's not, uh, you know, it's almost, it, they, the yarn comes in a hundred gram, gram skeins, so you have a bit, I have 17 grams left more or less, um, perhaps a bit less, and 
you know, honestly, it's it's not that bad. I can use it for some nails. I'm probably, though, I am probably gonna uh, either do a sock where it's gonna be the uh, toe and the heel, or I'm gonna give it uh, to my cousin when she gives gets these, so she can perhaps find something, or she can use it to uh, if to you know mend them if they get used a lot. So, I can't talk about the price too much because I unfortunately did win them. I win the, the yarn. Unfortunately, I'm happy about it. But um, I honestly had a bit, uh, this was a unique color. Um, you know, one of it's, the colorway was called Unique 10. So I believe that's because, you know, there was just the skein of it. But I'm just going to link to her shop uh, because uh, gorgeous dye there. So I love a lot of uh, gorgeous, uh, a lot of the, the dyers, uh, so of course I'm going to link to them. But yeah, I don't, I don't really know the price for this yarn specifically, but pretty, and I love them. So uh, to take, uh, to stay in the sock lane, um, this is the Canaver, 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 Canaver. I don't really know. Uh, socks uh, by Rachel Coopley? Cop, Cop, Coopy? Coopley. Oh, sorry. I'm actually in doubt right now. Um, they are from the 52 Weeks of Sock book, the first one. Uh, they're a bit higher, so you can see. I think I need a. Uh, I do have quite a few that, that are actually this high. Perhaps I should get me a uh, one with a higher top. But, um, yeah, they're from the 52 weeks of socks. Um, I casted these on um, in June. Uh, I casted them on, to be very precisely, the 19th uh, of June. And I did that because that was the day I uh, went in for surgery. So I casted these on at the hospital in, in the evening when I was in my bed and just chilling um, and just recovering, chatting with my, I had the nicest partner next to me. I ha uh, if you don't know, uh, I talk about it in my knitting chat. I had surgery to uh, get what's called an SCS, spinal cord stimulator implanted in my back and it went well and I'm really happy about it. You can watch that video if, if you're curious or you can ask me, I am very glad to talk about it. I casted these on and I went wrong about four times with just the casting on part um, that evening uh, uh, but in the end managed to do it and there's nothing with the pattern um, to talk about the pattern I think the pattern's great it was a nice and, and so to say easy pattern to follow um, and there was nothing really there it was just me who's um, wasn't really smart. I did. I didn't want to bring the entire book to the hospital, so I took pictures of the uh, of um, of the pattern from the book, and then I I use uh, it's called stitch fiddle. I use stitch fiddles to pop in my uh, lace patterns or um, other color work or uh, you know cable work or something. I pop that in there. And then I have it on my phone or on my iPad or on my computer for that sake. Um, and I brought both my, my iPhone, my iPhone, my, it's not my iPhone, I brought both my phone and my iPad with me. So I had it on there. Um, but I unfortunately forgot, as you can see, uh, it has these little swirly things. And those swirly things, they are cables. I didn't put that in my chart. I just had that it was pearl and knit stitches in different combinations. So it looked really odd. And I figured that out about when I was like, I don't know, here on the on the knit. So <laughs> I knitted quite a big part. Uh, I knit two at a time. So both of them, oh, it's time there. Both of them I had to rib out, uh, get back up to the uh, to the beginning. And then I um, I did it again. You know, we did it, I put the right chart in and then we wish to straight ahead, no problems. Um, it also has a slip stitch heel, I just threw the other one on the ground, I'm not going to pick it up. It has a slip stitch heel as well here um, and I like the fact that if you can see here in, in the front, 
um, on the toe instead of continuing the pattern of stopping it and have a uh, a knit stitch uh, toe it actually continues in the um, the rip pattern to the toe and I think that's really cute and I think it, it really makes it a complete thing um, I did make a mistake more that is is completed through but I don't think you know it's like not visible you're supposed to um when you start um the heel so that you have the pattern in the middle and you know right um because it's all the way you you're supposed to actually turn it a bit i didn't do that i didn't read it i read it after i did the heel um i don't like heels i think they're pretty but i think they take forever and I decided that um, I didn't want to redo that heel on either uh, on them at all. I was just like, you know what? I don't think I don't think you're gonna notice that much. Plus, it's the part that's gonna be in my shoe if I'm wearing shoes. Um, so who's gonna notice besides myself? And I, you know. I think perhaps it just uh, the pattern would just have been the other way around. I don't know. I casted these on because I don't. I didn't want a pair of vanilla socks that. I casted these on because I didn't want a pair of vanilla socks um, in, and I couldn't find like some excitement. I'm not really into that self-striping yarn too much, um, but because it was such a repeat and a long cough, I was like, when. I know I'm not going to have too much brain space in the hospital and perhaps not afterwards either. I'm going to be a bit tired. I'm going to be a bit weirded out. <laughs> um, I need something that isn't too, too, too difficult. But, and I don't think this pattern is difficult at all. Um, yes, there's a lot of, you know, cabling and stuff like that, but you use it when you, when you get the cabling, you don't need a cabling needle or anything for it. You just, you just, you can do it without. It's just two stitches that you know switch places, um, and the pattern is a repeat all the way down, um, and there's no difference from the left to the right sock, which was one thing I looked for because then I would have needed to think, what sock am I on now? Every time I turned around, um, I like the pattern. Easy, simple, nice to knit. So, uh, in general, I like uh, the, the socks I've been knitting from 52 weeks of socks. I really do. I knitted a size 2. Uh, on the other ones, I knitted a size 2 as well, I think. I knit the large, large size. Um, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't write down the price. I'm going to write price on, on the screen. Um, but I used... 78 grams. So I'm going to do go with two skeins because I wouldn't have managed to do this with one skein no matter what. Um, that's why. So I'm going to put this in as two skeins. And then I'm going to write the prices here in Danish crowns, in euros and in US dollars if you're interested. I just completely forgot. I waited. I did wait. But yeah, that was my second finished object. And very lastly, you've seen this before, I think, um, but you've seen it being very small. And I'm counting it as finished, even though, um, to be honest, it hasn't been blocked and I hasn't, haven't cut off all the ends yet. This is my shoulder cable cardi, doesn't have a smart name. This is a soft draft. Um, I have done one in yellow before. You can see here is the shoulder detail. I really love it. This time I decided to do a ripped um, button band and there's no buttons in it because to be honest um, it just is a V all the way down to uh, down here but I don't I have very few cardies that I actually close. I might do it and then just do like I don't know two and then just do like some snap buttons that could be kind of cute but yeah it's made in uh, Drops Paris and it's made in the recycled denim uh, from the color 101. I actually haven't weighed it. Um, 
I didn't, I used, I got 15 skeins of it from my mother-in-law, so to say. We're not married, but my mother-in-law. Sorry for this. It's my, it's my scale to weigh things. I thought I, you know, I could just weigh it with you. Um, might be a bit difficult, but let's see. So 530 grams around that I used for it. Um, I think it's fair. It is <laughs> cotton. It's cotton. It's uh, recycled denim. Um, so it's some sort of cotton. So I'm a bit excited to see how much it grows um, when I uh, block it. I think I'm just perhaps going to steam it because honestly, stitches are uh, are quite nice. It's mainly in where I took in uh, where it decreased in the sleeve parts. Let's see if I can show you that. Can we see here? There it was where it decreased for the sleeves. Um, that's a bit funny. Um, otherwise, I think it's I, I think it looks good. Would you? What would you think about these snap buttons? You know, now I just I'm just gonna put it on again. It's heavy actually, so that's also kind of why I'm not keen on washing washing it. Let's just. Would you? I think I could see this. I like the fact. What I, it's it's a short one. It's you know. I, th I thought about it for dresses and stuff like that. Um, that's why Jordan has like this really long ripped edge here and, and on here as well. And I, I really like it uh, so far. Sorry, that's a chili behind me. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I might, I might add those buttons. But it's been super nice and fun to have this it's it's kind of a quick knit because it's on big needles i think i knitted on size six millimeters um and i did use this to practice knitting the wrong way which was fun um so yeah i can't really tell anything about the pattern as i did it myself um i can just say that i picked up too many stitches on the uh, shoulders I forgot to uh, skip some stitches, so there's quite a few stitches on the shoulders. That's what happens. But yeah, and uh, as I said, with the price, I it was uh, some leftover from uh, from my boyfriend's mother, so I honestly do not know um, what it costs. Uh, and I do have quite a few skeins more in other col other colors as well. So um, if you have anything. Uh, a suggest if you have any suggestion for what I can like do that I am very open to hear about it because um, I don't really know yet what I want to do with it. I do I did get some other um, cotton from her like uh, the four uh, four eight is that was eight four. Um, I think I'm gonna do some dish cloths and dish towels with. Um, yeah, but that was my. Um, last finished object um yeah so to my ongoing projects my whips um in my red bag i have my red project um this is just something my cousin and i sewed, sewed out of her leftover yarn um it doesn't have a a cord yet to pull it in but whatever I am making a t-shirt. I think I've showed this at least one time, if not more. Um, and, I, and then look, it got, it got a sleeve. And I'm gonna pick it out and frog it, this sleeve, because this sleeve is too thick. So I'm gonna go in and uh, remove a repeat of the pattern uh, from the sleeve. And I'm gonna be a bit more aggressive with the uh, decreases underneath the arm. I really want the sleeve to be like around here in the end and I want it to be a bit tight. I do know that I made the uh, the armhole a bit large but I'm honestly not going to go back and fix it. I'm just going to pick up stitches so it fixes. So I'm at least taking out one repeat. Perhaps two. This is a ripped pattern um, and I barely jumped any stitches as it is now uh, so I think it, it wouldn't be bad to jump a few 
more. Uh, the repeat is 16 stitches and I removing 16, perhaps even 32. Uh, I don't think that's going to be bad. But it's really cute. I think it's uh, it turned out so cute so far and I can't wait for it to, uh, to have a proper sleeve. I'm doing it uh, with like short rows and I think I'm going to do that as well a bit more, a bit m f few more actually so it it curves even more than it does now um so yeah not, not too bad that i have to pick it out if this is the second or third sleeve actually um and you know what if i'm picking it up i'm picking it up i'm frogging it so and it's a project that lasts me for a longer time <laughs> but yeah it's just this cute uh repeat um a few cables in, and then in you know like a ripped um let's see if we can do it like this a ripped pattern so that it's nice and stretchy yeah um again not much to say about the pattern except that i'm apparently really bad at doing the sleeves um and and that's what that is so yeah it's knitted in um uh, lana cotton let's see if we can get this up here uh lana cotton from yadigan um, and it's really nice. It's a mix of wool and uh, cotton, 50-50. Uh, it is super wash wool, so if you don't like that, then of course you have that problem. But it is with cotton in, so that has a few other uh, qualities as well. Um, but I think it's it's uh, it's a really nice yarn. I really like it. Um, but it is. I I'm going to continue on it. But you know, um, when I uh, figured out that the sleeve was too big. Yesterday or the day before that, I was like, it's not because I, d I really want to finish it, I really want to knit on it because I do think it's a nice knit, but I was just, ugh, oh, not again. So um, I decided that it needed a timeout. It got to the side and I cast it on something new because why not? <laughs> I, um, from this tea, I have some leftovers um, because I apparently, as I said, cannot calculate or have a um <laughs> i have uh, i don't know a gauge that's completely off so i had an entire skein and a bit more left i don't know if i have enough to do this but perhaps it's just going to be crop top or i don't know i'm going to figure something out i'm just going to frog it and not do it or i'm going to buy another skein and hope it matches. I I don't really know. I don't really care. I just needed something else to knit on because I was a bit mad at that T-shirt, to be honest. So that's that one. But um, on my <laughs> on my Instagram, I was completely influenced for once. It's it's not that often. Uh, I love to be inspired, but yeah, and I I, I just saw um, this. I'm gonna find it on my tablet because I uh, I am not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. She is French and she makes the cutest feminine things. Um, her name is Camille, I believe. She goes by M Macy Mill or Marcy Mill. Macy Mill, I think, something like that. And what I've started on is the Maybe Lily Tank. I'm going to see... I'm going to pop a picture in. But look at that. Can you see? If not, if it's not working, I'm going to put a picture in. There. But I started on that yesterday because, first of all, hey, I had something more to show you. <laughs> and second, um, I, uh, I couldn't be bothered by the uh, top tee and I wanted to knit on something. So this is Maybe Lily Tank. And now it's going to be really fun because it's the same color as my shirt. Exactly. I have not gone far. I've knit a few rows. And I, my hand, I must say this. I like the pattern so far. It's a bit odd. It's in English and in French. And I'm knitting from the English one because I do not know French. I do not bit, but not that much. Um, there's a few things I'm confused about. I like the pattern itself, you know, the, the cable uh, or the lace pattern, there's some bubbles in it and everything, but I'm a, there's a few things I'm a bit confused about. Um, the fact that 
there is to consider seven centimeters of positive of negative is and two centimeters of positive and not as to what is what and I don't know if anybody who has knitted it can ask me that <laughs> ask me can you ask me the question I just asked can answer me to that um, but I decided to first of all because I don't know how much yarn I have um, go down so that I would have negative ease around my bust um, and hope that's uh, fine because she has two centimeters of positive ease on the one she has in Ravelry um, my bust is a hundred and not 100, my bust is 95 centimeters, around 95 centimeters in circumference. Um, the medium size is 90 centimeters in circumference, and the large size is 101. Um, and to be honest, I chose the, large, the smaller size because um, I partly, be, well, part, main, mainly because um, <laughs> yarn amount I don't know if I have and it started off with negativities and I'm like I so it's okay if I have negativities I suppose I don't know it's knitted on uh, three and a half millimeter needles and um, yeah the second thing I'm a bit confused about is there is a chart that you can follow for the uh, gauge swatch but it doesn't seem to be the chart for the pattern when you do it. It, it basically is, but there's a bit more. Uh, there's a few more knit, knit stitches, mainly knit stitches before, and there's some that isn't afterwards. I don't know. I read there's a... The body is, is described in words. There doesn't seem to be a um, a pad a um, a chart for that. It might just be me. Uh, but then there is a chart for these uh, for the upper parts, for the front. Um, and I think in general you can just use the chart from the gauge. You just need to remember how many knit stitches there is when you start and how many there is when you finish um, then you can use it so yeah but otherwise I like uh, you know I think it's cute you have to cast on a lot of stitches using an eye cold cast on if you can see I hope it, it actually I think it looks a bit funny if you can see the uh, the bottom stitches are really high and that's from the eye cord cast on. And if you're anyway like me, um, I, I just want to say, uh, take a break in the middle. Cast on a fourth of, or even less of what you need. Take a break and continue because my hand is busted a little bit. It's, it's, it's feeling really, really hard <laughs> to cast on like that because you have to knit it's an eye cord cast on. When you need an eye cord cast on, you cast on a number of stitches that's going to be your eye cord. You know, an eye cord can be anywhere from basically two stitches to five, six, seven, and up. And then you knit those stitches again and again and again. So, so to get the eye cord, just as like you do when you knit, when you knit an eye cord in, in the end, you knit it over and over. You know, it's knitted a lot of times. Um, but yeah, I started that yesterday. I think I'm gonna like it. I hope I have enough yarn. If not, I yeah. If I like it really much, a lot, I'm probably just gonna buy some more and hope it matches. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, that's all that. So that was my ongoing project. Um, I do um, have. Uh, something that I'm planning on casting on and as I said I might cast on when this is done I'm thinking of doing a little fun video about it because um, I'm gonna do something odd for as for what I'm knitting um, let's start on what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a a camisole um, you know those with the triangle um, pieces uh, both on the front and back, and then it goes into a a nice um, body. 
around the body. I'm going to do it in colour work in these two beautiful colours and I am planning on sticking it. Sticking is, if you don't know, where you cut your yarn, cut your knit up and um, it's mainly used if you're knitting um, sweaters, cardigans, sweaters that's supposed to be cut, but thicker wool. It's used a lot in Norwegian uh, knitting, in their Norwegian patterns, and the color work patterns. Use a lot. They even stick the armholes. And I'm just gonna take, um, I'm basically gonna take uh, inspiration from that, but do it as a tank top. It's not because I don't believe I could. I have never really knitted back and forth in color work. I think I could do it. I could learn it. Sh sure. I just learned to knit the other way, you know, backwards with with knit stitches in a single color. Perhaps I could do it with two, and do a uh, a switch of uh, of the throw and the con continental. But the other, other thing sounds more fun. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do a color work. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little vlog about it. Um, at least just for myself and I would love if you would follow along of course but um, when it comes it's probably gonna be a while but I need to knit it first but yeah I am knitting it in baby merino from um, drops is it too light for you to see it the sun just really is shining right now but this is baby merino and this one is a green a, kind of like a dusty green and then this is sort of like an off-white it's a bit warmer white than just, you know, pure white. Um, I got the colour. It's colour 02 and this is colour 38. Um, and it's 100% wool. It is super wash treated. But I'm gonna give it a go anyway. I'm gonna, before I stick it, I'm gonna sew it or crochet it together. Or perhaps, but I don't have a sewing machine myself. Uh, my my mother has one, so I'm gonna. If I have to sew it. I'm gonna have to use hers. Otherwise, I'm just gonna crochet it. That probably depends on my um, on the, the amount of uh, uh, yeah, if how how quick I want to get it done. If I'm time to wait, I forgot that. But yeah, this is uh, the next project I'm gonna cast on, and with that we uh, end this. Um, I'm so glad if you watched all the way to this and um, this has somehow turned out to be a bit of the longer ones. I have a single thing I want to share if you want to tag along for that and that is that uh, today as of uh, filming this I had my first real ride on a hand bike. I'm going to share the bike. I haven't, um, I've got a video from for me biking, I was more concerned about biking. A hand bike is where you use your hand to bike, um, as it as the name tells. And I, uh, in some weird way, got in contact with the Danish um, hand bike uh, community, um, and they have um, through them. I'm gonna rent a bike, a hand bike, so that I can bike again. I haven't been able to bike since uh, my injury with my leg uh, or my back it is that hurt my leg because I haven't been able to sit on a uh, I first of all I haven't been able to sit on a bike it hurts uh, because I am very sensitive to uh, pressure sometimes uh, I can be and besides that using my leg biking the effort the muscle work uh, my my leg hates I've usually been biking at my work, where I work out at uh, the center, train center, they have a bike where you sit on it, um, uh, like a sofa or a chair instead of a regular bike. And I've been using that a bit. Um, and I've been able to use it for a maximum 15 minutes. And then I've been hurting when I get home because, and the day after, because my leg has been so annoyed by the fact that I've been using it. That's that's what it is when with the note pen. But I got this handbike and I'm so excited. Um, I am. It is going to be switched out very soon uh, for one where I'm going to uh, lay better in it. 
but just for now to get started I had this I have this one and I'm so excited to get out and try I I biked uh, 2.6 kilometers today with my dad uh, he was just biking on his regular bike uh, with me just so you know first time out and out in the wild just have to you know make sure I don't get hurt <laughs> and fall over anything um, it was hard but it was fun um, and um, it was really nice getting out on the real road I've only tried it in a parking lot and then you know just I live on a gravel road just down and back um, and that gravel it's not it's just not nearly the same as driving on pavement on real real asphalt so that was so fun and I'm I just wanted to share it because I'm so glad that I have found a new way that I'm hopefully going to love to be active uh, and a way to get some fresh air instead of only working out at the center where I'm indoors and it's always super super hot this way I can get out into the wild and get some fresh air and some sun and everything but yeah I'll gladly tell you more if you want to know but uh, but this is uh, mainly about knitting and um, I'm so glad that you uh, if you watched this long um, and I hope uh, I hope you perhaps want to see more from me and if you want to do that you can always uh, stay tuned here uh, you know take a look at the, at the little button downstairs that says subscribe oh. and um, yeah if you wanna if you want to tag along on my Instagram or on my TikTok I'm gonna put the names of that down here the tags and um, so you can find me there and I'm also gonna link to it in the description don't worry and I'm gonna try to link uh, my product patterns from my Ravelry so or the patterns itself and the yarn from the handouts did I even say what my sock was made in Made in Mayfair, first class, first sock, first class yarn. They got it. I don't think I did, said it. But thank you for watching, and I um, hope you want to follow along for uh, for further fun and knitting, and perhaps once in a while a few other things. Uh, but we're gonna see when the uh, when I get, you know, the, uh, the feeling for doing that again. It's good. It's getting better. I'm, I'm glad. So, sorry for me just yeah, talking even more. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And uh, stay safe out there. Bye.